我哎，我哥，哦，哎，我哎，我我我哎。We are finally back once again. Looks like this is gonna have to be the March and April vlog episode because uh, it's been since February since I uploaded a video. And guys, it's not like I don't want to. I think I've said this a lot recently. It's not like I don't want to, but it's just, it's really tiring, you know? And uh, like now I don't even get any money whatsoever. Like I wasn't making very much money anyways off of the YouTubers, but now it's like zero, so uh, I don't know. But just the, the, with the tiredness and then wanting to relax during the weekends, it's very hard to, or I, I, it's hard for me to find the motivation to actually put together these clips. Like I actually take video clips and then I just like let them sit there and, and marinate. Kind of like these clips. Uh, in the last uh, cl last clip, I did squats for 265 pounds, which is the heaviest that I was able to do during the bulk for four sets of eight, which is pretty good. But I remember on one of the days, I felt really bad. Knees felt pretty bad for some reason. Then I got some advice from one of my powerlifting friends, and it helped a lot. So kind of back there right now. Um, and this clip, you might be like, what the heck is this? This is actually a tournament. I played in a tournament for myself, like adult division, obviously. Um, open class, because uh, I'm a monster. No, just kidding. But, um, you know, I hadn't played in such a long time. I knew I was going to be nervous, and I knew I was going to be match rusty. You know, because, like, sure, I can play fine during practice, and that's fine. But when you get out there and you're playing a match, nerves come huge. But I actually made it to the finals, which is this match. I lost, but it's still a good match. Right here is 355 pounds. Oh my goodness, so much weight. This is actually, this, I mean, you know, it's not that much, but it's good for me. This is the highest weight I've, ever, I've lifted on the sumos during this bulking season, I guess. And I mean, it's been a long time, but I, I really don't do this consistently. I'm kind of just doing it for like hamstring like glued hamstring days for more like for fun but anyways it's pretty good getting pretty decent i got a pretty decent at it before i started cutting uh spoiler alert i am now cutting and it really i just focus on the form here because I, I tend to let it roll forward and then it gets super far away and i'm just now leaning over with my back so i'm trying to keep it as close to my shins as possible that oh my goodness what great form wow sorry So in this clip, you'll notice, oh my goodness, I have a spotter, wow. I actually made a friend recently who is actually, I met him at tennis actually, but um, he's, he actually works out, so we've been working out a lot recently, but uh, I mean, he got sick, so for the past week, he haven't been working out, but we've been going to the gym quite often recently, and it's a, a lot nicer than going by myself, just because sometimes, you know, you want that added energy slash positivity, slash it's just more fun, because you can like mess around and talk and stuff. Uh, instead of being so serious and mean mugging every single person at the gym and telling them to go away, just kidding. But yeah, this day, see, this is where, I, after I got the advice of my friend about my form on the squat, I was able to hit 265 for eight, pretty, like not, not too many problems. Uh, the time before this, I was dying. And Jesse over here, talking about how his uh, knees hurt doing the leg extension. But the key is guys, you actually don't lock out your knees all the way, you just go up and flex your quads. That way you don't hurt your knees. Unless you're enhanced. Then you can do whatever you want. <laughs> Jesse over here freaking out, telling me he's hearing things. Oh yeah, I think I need to go up, it's too light. Oh yeah? Hold on one second. <laughs> wow. You guys hear that? the sound of ego, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Kill Something's me. bugging my ear, guys. So what, what is it? Something's bugging my ear. Ah, oh uh, snap, son. Don't break your knees now. You got a tournament on Tuesday. 
Oh snap, you know it's getting real. You know it's getting real when I get the Fitbit. Oh my goodness, and I bought the old model just because uh, it's old, so that means it's a lot cheaper. And But now, they have it in pink, which is my favorite color, so I can replace this. It's really old and looks kind of discolored, but I can replace it with this pink Fitbit until this Fitbit dies. But I'm going to be using this during this cut. Oh my goodness, what happened to all my hair? I think it's because I'm sick, I just lost all my hair, magically, you know, so, uh, no, just kidding. Got a haircut, but I have been sick, and with the, uh, with the way the cut has been going, it was going well, but, um, I mean, actually it still is going well, technically, wow, look at this lighting. Technically, it's still going well, but, right now, last week I was 168.6, and this week I'm down to 166.6, but, um... I think that's kind of cheating because I've been sick like this whole week almost, so I only worked out like twice and I've just been doing nothing and resting for the past few days. I had to like actually skip one day of school because I was like, I just couldn't even move. And then I was very lucky that one of my friends all the way from Sugarland brought me some medicine and food because I had no medicine, no food, and I was like just dying, could not move. Uh, my whole body was like sore. My face felt like it was getting smashed in by the sinuses. So anyways... Still at home, still like a little sick, feeling a little better, but energy level is extremely low, so I'm trying to just like let it heal and let it go away before I try to do anything like too active. But um, regardless of that, I gotta make some geometry videos because I'm gonna be out tomorrow for Tanise. Gotta do some, you know, test videos or whatever. Put some uh, keys, but <sighs> it's been five weeks. Let me, has it been five weeks? Weeks. Oh, check this out. I make a. Uh, I make Google Drives for myself and then anybody else who wants me to do this for them. But anyways, yeah, five weeks. I've lost a total of uh, three plus about four, six. Pretty much I've lost like eight pounds in five weeks. Um, but this, like I said, this last week was sick. Last week I only worked out like four times because of districts. But anyways, pace is going pretty good. I'm um, just kind of curious to see how much you know what I look like. In comparison to last time, was last time I remember I was working out a lot when I was in Japan because that was like two years ago. This time, not working out as much, but I figure that I should have gained some more muscle just in general because last time when I cut, I was only 165 and I was struggling to make that 165. This time I started at 174.5, like almost one, se almost 10 pounds higher than what I was last time. It was like a lot easier, which theoretically means I had more muscle to start out with, but. We'll see. Last time, by the way, the video just totally cut out because my battery happened to die right there. Then I didn't get home till later. Battery didn't charge until later, so... <sighs> just unserious, fortunate of events, but here I am. Now, some of my... Even some, some, some people, you know, have been commenting, like, are you still making videos or keep putting videos up? And even some of my students ask me if I'm still making videos. I am, but like I said, this first year has just been a little... Uh, a little rough in transition, so it's kind of hard to be as consistent as I was like as I was like to be. Like it's always in the back of my mind, you know. Like I gotta make a video, or I want to put up videos, or tell like just talk about what I'm doing and stuff like that. But it's just hard in transition, getting used to everything. But next year should be a little better because I will have things done. But I am planning to go to Japan this summer, and I'll definitely be taking a lot of videos while I'm there, meeting back with the old the old gangarinos. But if you're wondering, all right, check this out. <laughs> if you're wondering what I've been eating on this cut so far, I've literally been eating this place called Mod Pizza almost every single day. These are all these are all pizza boxes. <laughs> Mod Pizza is like Chipotle but with pizza, so they just make it for you right there, and it can be pretty healthy. Like if you get like just chicken and like light light on the cheese, obviously, and you know uh, bubble guts for Asian people, lactose intolerance. But anyways. If you get stuff like that, it's pretty it's pretty healthy actually. Like I have it in my fitness pal for the pizzas that I get. It's about like it's like maybe around 100 carbs or maybe 90 something, like 50 grams of protein and only 18 grams of fat, which is really good. And it's only eight dollars fifty two cents per pizza, and that covers like a lot of your calories for the day. So I've been eating this like the whole time and losing weight. So clearly, you know, it's working for me. But um, I'm about to drink this. This is a uh, BCAAs, and I'm only drinking this one because. This, like, okay, this right here, excavation, extend BCAs. These, like, first of all, they taste really good. Um, this one doesn't really taste like strawberry mango, it just tastes like uh, something sweet or whatever. But there's other ones that actually taste really, like, 
It tastes like something, like blood orange flavor. Tastes like an orange. It's really good. But these ones, they actually have, um, where is it, where is it, where is it? Electrolytes in it, which is a big thing. So, especially I mean, just because I'm sick right now, I'm trying to get some electrolytes. But the problem is because, look, it has sodium, it has potassium. And, uh, yeah, but where's the electrolyte blend right there, which is really good because, I'm per I mean, I heard when you're sick you need electrolytes. But, uh, and I've been drinking Gatorade and stuff. Like, here, look, look at my refrigerator. I've been drinking, like... I've been drinking like Gatorade and Body Armor because these have electrolytes. But the thing is, these have so much sugar in it, and I don't know why. Maybe it's because maybe like electrolytes actually just taste like crap. So then you gotta put a lot of sugar in it. And since I'm not really doing any activity, don't want to be taking it that much sugar. So I'm gonna drink some of these BCAs. These are pretty decent. But I'll also check this out. I'm gonna put some ice in there. Now check this out though. So look at these ice cubes. Why do they look? Why do they look like bullets? Well, that is because I have this ice maker. This Technically, it's portable because you can just bring it wherever you want. And just as long as you plug it in somewhere, you just dump some water in here and it makes ice. And it makes ice in six minutes. I gotta clean this old. <laughs> I gotta clean this old water. I gotta clean this old water out. But this makes ice in six minutes and it comes out like this. And the reason why I have this, you're like, why? You got an ice maker, why'd you buy one? Because the water over here. This is an apartment, right? So they don't have like uh, I don't know filter. I don't I don't know what I don't know what the deal is. But anyways, the water over here tastes uh, pretty freaking bad. Like it tastes like I don't know if it's like chlorine that it tastes like or if it just tastes like rocks. But it tastes like not good water. It doesn't taste like the water of Japan. That's for sure. So um, had to buy an ice maker because I tried the ice one time and it's just absolutely disgusting. So. Yep, that's how things are going over here. Life in spring back in Texas. Going to regionals. <laughs> we are on the way to regionals in Waco, and I've got the honors of driving both Klein Oak High School and Klein High School. It's really windy, I don't know if you can hear anything, but check it out. Oh, heck yeah, I got the keys to the caddy. Got the keys to the caddy so ain't nobody get inside the bus. Look what we got today. We don't have, but get this stupid trailer out of the way. We don't got an old bus today. Hey, that's my team. Hey. Hey, look at this. We got. Open the damn bus up, man. This is the Cadillac of all the buses right here. Look at it. Look at it in all its glory. All aboard the Caddy. <laughs> I think I'm the tallest one. Hello. Yeah, probably. Okay, that's fine. Look at all the controls. Wow. <laughs> regional Waco Regional Tennis Center. This is where the, all the action is going to be tomorrow. This place is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, people going crazy. So the seating meeting is over. Pull over here, our alternate. Okay. She's getting ready by honing her um, reaction skills by playing a. Fortnite. Yeah, Fortnite. <laughs> typical, but not typical. Yeah, why not? There's our region, our regionalist. Is that what you call it, regionalist? There's another regionalist.
Tastes like chocolate? Yeah. At 1102, just sampling, <laughs> it's just sampling some milk teas over okay. here. And then, uh, Look these at are this. Sweetness, but you can't adjust the sweetness levels. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that looks unamused. What was that? <laughs> like what kind of place has hojicha tea in America? Like what? This is so good. I think I'm, that's what I'm getting. Exotic flavors. Back in Japan. 1102 bubble tea and coffee. The secret garden. Wow. Look at like this place is just like this place is just you know this place is pretty cute. <laughs> oh gosh. Alrighty, check it out. The bus barn, oh my. So, finally back, we left on 4 19, April 19th. Today's April 21st. A lot of driving, we had to wake up at like 5.30 a.m. I think I got up at like six or whatever. Our girl ended up losing in the regional quarterfinals after some crazy American junior tennis drama with the other girl. That was uh, interesting, but you know, it's pretty interesting. And then uh, the Klein, the Klein High School, like our our fellow Klein ISD Independent School District, won regionals. Their girls' doubles team won all of regionals, so they will be going to state. Pretty sick. Our girl, if she got seated correctly, then she probably would have made it to the semis, which means she would have had a shot to go to state, but didn't happen. It's okay. But anyways, look at all these buses. The bus is pretty nice. Like, they gave me a really nice bus to drive super far out of town because we had to drive from Houston to Waco. So it's like four hours on a bus, so a lot of driving done this week. Also, I've been sick for almost like, you know, a little over a week, but I think it's finally going away at last. Like I still have a little bit of runny nose, but like energy feels pretty good. Not too, not too bad now, so I'm very excited to get back in the gymnasio. No, just kidding, the gym. But, Cause last time I tried to work out, I worked out this week and after one exercise I was toast. I mean I finished my workout but not, didn't feel so great. I need to go home and pass out.